Hey guys, how are you doing today? Hope everybody had a nice weekend. Um, I understand Angelo is home for teacher work day. Rosemary is home because she has a sore throat. I hope June's tummy is feeling better and she's having a good day at school. Um, Captain and I are home doing some chores. It's really warm here today. It's supposed to get up to 80, so hence the short sleeves. Um, definitely does not feel like winter, but it's still really pretty out, so I'm not complaining. Nice blue skies. So today I'm going to read this book called Slowly, Slowly said the sloth and um it is written by eric carl and it is um it says it has a foreword by jane goodall who um i just love because she does a lot of work with um with um apes right so this is interesting because the back of it has eric carl's signature on it and I can't tell for sure if that is actual, like maybe he did autograph this book, but if so, that's that's really pretty cool. And this is another book that I got from the library that came from a teacher's um, classroom, I believe she donated it. So we get to keep this one and I will add it to the grandma's house uh, library. Well, we'll take this one to Gainesville because we have so many books here right now. So when you guys come to visit, you can look at this. but. Um, my kids really were into sloths when um, they were young, especially Kristen. She learned all about sloths from Mrs. Levine, as I recall, and she would come home and tell us all these things about sloths. Like they move so slowly that they actually get like algae on their fur, I think. She'll have to correct me on that or maybe it'll tell us in this book, but I thought that was just so wild that they moved so slow or so little that things actually grew on them. Sounds pretty icky, but they're cute. They're cute and they seem to be living a happy life. So anyway, slowly, slowly said the sloth. Let's see about this. Slowly, slowly said the sloth. I won't read this whole thing um, from Jane Goodall, but perhaps we can read it together in person when we see you. Slowly, 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 a sloth crawled along a branch of a tree. Slowly, 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 the sloth ate a leaf. Slowly, 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 the sloth fell asleep. Slowly, 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 the sloth woke up. All day long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. All night long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Look at the little bat. Even when it rained, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Why are you so slow? The howler monkey asked one day, but the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so quiet? The caiman asked, but the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so boring? The anteater asked, but the sloth didn't answer. Tell me, said the jaguar, why are you so lazy? The sloth thought and thought and thought for a long, long, long time. Finally, the sloth replied, it is true that I am slow, quiet, and boring. I am lackadaisical, I dawdle, and I dilly-dally. I am also unflappable, languid, stoic, impassive, 
sluggish, lethargic, placid, calm, mellow, laid back, and well, slothful. I am relaxed and tranquil, and I like to live in peace, but I am not lazy. Then the sloth yawned and said, that's just how I am. I like to do things slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, so this tells all the animals. I'm hoping I'm not going to say these wrong. Tapir, Picari, Puma, Yellow Spotted River Turtle, Double Crested, Basilisk, Cayman, Hummingbird, Jaguar, Quetzal, Macaw, Cody, Cock of the Rock, Porcupine, Leaf Cutting Ants, Howler Monkey, Postman Butterfly, Toucan, Anteater, Anaconda, Armadillo, Hotsin, Poison Dart Frog, and Bat. Did I miss anybody? That is so cool. And on the back it says, why are we always in a hurry? Rush, rush, rush. We scurry from here and there. We play computer games and then click, quick. We watch TV. We eat fast food. Everyone tells us to make it snappy. Hurry up. Time is flying. Step on it. There's so little time just to be with friends, to watch a sunset or gaze at a star-filled sky. Ah, what we could learn, even if just a little, from the gentle sloth who slowly, slowly, slowly crawls along a branch of a tree, eats a little, sleeps a lot, and lives in peace. What did you guys think of that book? I'll ask you a question. Do you feel like you're like a sloth, going slowly, 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 very relaxed? Or do you feel like you're some of these other animals? So I don't think I'm quite like a sloth. I'm not that slow, but I'm gonna see. I'm not as fast as a jaguar or a puma. I'm not as slow as a turtle. So I am not really sure. Okay, I'm gonna say that I think that I am like the postman butterfly. Not just because I love butterflies so much, but I feel like I have times when I flit around a lot and go fast and then I sit for a long time on a little branch and just hang out and eat <laughs> and just enjoy life. And then I flit around some more. So that's kind of what I feel like I'm like. What do you guys think? What animal do you think you are from all of these? Tell me the next time we talk what you think you are. So, Captain, we just read this book here about a sloth. Oh, okay. Okay, and the sloth, his friends are making fun of him for being so slow because he just likes to hang out on the trees and do nothing all day. And at the end, he defended himself to say he's quite happy with his life, just living his life slowly. So they showed all these other animals that live in the same habitat as the sloth, and we were wondering which one you related to most. Who do you feel that you live most like? I think I'm the puma. You're the puma? How come? come? I just think that he's he, he never stops. <laughs> well, he, he has to sleep sometimes. I don't think Even he ever, captains have to sleep. I don't think he ever sleeps. You don't think so? I think pumas are just always moving. But you sleep. Yeah, I sleep. You do? Yeah. So he must. I've never seen it, though. Probably because I was sleeping. Probably so. You probably sleep at the same time. I bet you do. Which makes me a puma. A puma. <laughs> which one do you think I said I was? Um... Hmm. Let's see if Captain can guess. Hmm. I think you'd like to be the butterfly, but it's probably not you. I am. Are you the butterfly? You know why? Because uh -uh. I flit and flit and flit fast for a little while, and then I stop and land for a long time, too. Like, I know when it's time to rest and eat and just hang out on my branch, and then I flit around and I... do the things I have to do. And Lindsay's a turtle. Lindsay's a turtle. How come? 
Oh, she's a turtle. She's a turtle. Okay. <laughs> if she's a turtle, what? She has a turtle tattoo. She's she, a turtle. She does. Shelly the turtle. How about Kristen? Um, well, there's not a meatloaf on here, so what do you do? Why would she be a meatloaf? Oh, because of the tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> it's like captain. An animal captain. Um, I guess she probably could be a bat. Oh, Kristen's a bat. And what about Brenna? Uh, I know. Brenna's a tough one. I know. Brenna might be ants. Oh, yeah? Busy workers? Always busy. Okay. Busy, busy, busy. I like that. Okay. We'll let the kids decide who they think they are. We won't choose for them. And we'll see if the moms think that that was an accurate depiction of them. And anybody with really, really thick skin yeah. would be an armadillo. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody like that in our family. <laughs> so here's the pictures again of all the animals. And you guys tell me who you think you are, okay? Who do you identify with? I love this book. This was really sweet. I love you guys. I hope you're tucked in safe and warm. Good night.